Southwest Hollywood, pretty much. It's like, it's it's kind of funny, there's no neighborhood name, it's just Los Angeles, Wilshire, and Crescent Heights. I moved up for school in 08, but I was living in Oakland for like a year. The dorms, um, so there's like an Oakland campus. Straight out the dorms, moved into here. So I've been living here for like almost two years. I've never actually felt like I fit in here, but at the same time, I don't think I've ever found a place where I feel like I fit in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't necessarily feel like I fit in in LA. I grew up there. Um, you know, I'm really drawn to New York. I love it there, but every time I go, I don't feel like I fit in there either. I don't know what is next. It's so like up in the air right now, like everything, which is exciting, but it's also very uh, nerve wracking. Big city vibe in California was nice. Um, definitely intriguing. You know, seeing all the graffiti up here too and just being like, damn, like, everybody gets it up here. This kind of uniform, like, sense of humor. It had such, like, the essence of, like, old school graffiti too, like, without having it be, like, s like stupid and trite. I started questioning why I was making stuff. And nobody prompted me to do so at school. It was just kind of my own thing, like, especially with this record. Like, I, I, I never played it for anybody, like, I, um, because it was super different and just something that I needed to do for myself. So it was like, shit, I guess I'm using this stuff for the record, you know, like, this, I'm making this record right now. But the whole time was like, why am I doing this? What am I making? I needed some form of validation from other people you know, it's like narcissistic, basically, like, and, and that shit trips me out. Music became, like, everything. So because it was, like, my main thing now, it's like, I want it to be as honest as possible, to be valid to me. And it was like, it wasn't, you know, because I hadn't made any of this shit yet.